Okay, so Tesla stock is still trading sideways, looking quite boring to be honest. When looking at Tesla alone, the situation seems under control, but there are some troublesome signs on the broad market, and uh, if its mood changes again, that could trigger another bearish lag on Tesla stock, and uh, it would easily drop to lower levels. Honestly, in my view, I don't think that another drop would be that horrible, but still, let's keep some key points in mind. In this video, I will tell you what are these troublesome signs the market has been giving us and uh, what, what we must see in order to avoid a sharper correction to lower levels. My name is Nathan and you are welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. So let's start our analysis over here looking at the daily chart. In the daily chart, Tesla is in a trap zone, it is inside a no man's land, it is between a key support and a key resistance level. What is the key support level? The 187, which is the neckline of this head and shoulders, which is the 21 exponential moving average, and uh, it is working as a dual support level. On the other hand, the key ceiling, the most important resistance level on Tesla is $200, at least short term speaking. The $200 is a previous top level over here from March 3 this year and uh, did work as a, I'm so sorry, I said support, is this resistance level over here, a top, a top level on March 3 and again on March 22, again on March 23, it seems it is a ceiling that, that Tesla has to break in order to actually reverse the bearish sentiment over here because Tesla did, it did a lower high, lower low, right? A series of lower high, lower low. Right now, you may say, but Nathan, we, we did a higher high, higher low. Well, that's kind of debatable because I don't think this, this movement over here is as clear as the previous movements over here, but still, okay. Either way, we gotta see Tesla finding a support level above 187 and breaking the $200. If this scenario materializes, that's great, that's just fantastic. Tesla is going to reverse any possible bearish sentiment we have here on Tesla and probably it is going to seek higher levels. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, as a retail trader like you, like everybody else over here, I see Tesla retesting the 217, the 218 area up here, around this yellow area, because this is another very important resistance level on Tesla, but uh, it is a very important key point long-term speaking. I will explain to you guys better uh, later in this video. Right now, let's keep in mind the $200. The $200 is our key point that Tesla has to break. Right now, we are between these, uh, these two key points, while the 187 is our main support level. Now, there are some problematic signs that the market is giving us and uh, Tesla is not going to break this ceiling unless if the market helps, because Tesla lacks its own catalysts right now. There is no uh, domestic catalysts concerning Tesla at this moment. Therefore, we must see the broad market reacting and the broad market is not looking that good. When we take a look at the S&P index, the S&P is clearly bearish. It is doing crystal clear lower highs, lower lows, trading consistently below this purple trend line over here, which is connecting all the previous top levels since February 2, since uh, for, for almost two months right now. Therefore, uh, Tesla, I'm so sorry, the S&P is right now doing another top signal today under this purple trend line. This is not that good and in theory, if the S&P actually triggers this top sign, the bearish sentiment will just persist to lower levels and probably we could easily retest the, the, the 3800 area, this green line down here in this scenario. What's more, to make things worse, we see the Nasdaq index trading under a very strong resistance level as well, which is this black line at 12.7K. This black line did work as a resistance level once 
on September 2022. Wow, that's, uh, that's a very long time ago. Again, on February this year, and again, multiple times this month. Therefore, this is a very, very problematic situation for tech stocks, and Tesla is not going to reverse the bearish momentum. It is not going to turn bullish as long as we see these patterns over here on the broad market. We must see the indices breaking their resistances. We must, we must see the Nasdaq doing very good reaction. And then, and only then, I believe Tesla is going to break the $200 and uh, seek with a certain degree of conviction the next resistance level around 219 to, I'm so sorry, 218, 217 up here. Right now, we must pay attention. Uh, some people complain when I analyze other stuff like, like, like the indices, right? Which are extremely important. Nathan, I want to see you analyzing Tesla only. Guys, that's just ridiculous. Tesla is part of a gigantic puzzle, which is this market. And the broad sentiment affects Tesla as well. Uh, like it or not, you may deny, but uh, it is true. It is going to affect. Tesla. Therefore, it is very important to me, it is very important to analyze how the indices are going to behave near their resistances. Because if we see a crystal clear top signal, if they trigger their top signals, I believe Tesla is going to lose the 187 area. In this scenario, what could possibly happen if we lose the 187? Well, we are going to seek lower levels, like the retracements over here. In theory, when Tesla respects the first retracement, the 38.2 bounces again, and if it loses again this retracement, usually it seeks the last retracement, the 61.8%, filling the earnings gap over here. That would be very extremely technical movement. Uh, I don't know if this is going to, of course, I don't know. I can't predict the future. Remember, trading is reactive. Real trading, at least, is reactive. It is not predictive. We just got to watch these key points. And of course, if you want to trade with me, check my newsletters for options, strategies, model, portfolios, daily premium analysis, and much more. And since we are here, let's take a look at options over here. Since we are talking about options, well, $200 is our main ceiling over here, options wise. Coincidence or not, it is the same key point we see on the chart. $200, if we break this key point, I think we're going to see a sort of squeeze and the bulls are going to get very euphoric, the bears are going to start getting stopped and the, and the Tesla sentiment is looking quite good. Its put call ratio is 0.75. That's quite optimistic. It feels like the market is optimistic regarding Tesla at least. Right now, we got to wait for a crystal clear breakout of its key resistance or support levels in the weekly chart. I told you guys that the 218, 217 area is a very important key point in the weekly chart. And that, and there is a very good reason for that. If, if Tesla actually breaks this ceiling over here, Tesla is going to do in the weekly chart for the first time since it started its bear market on November 2021. Wow, November, pay attention. Since November 2021, Tesla is going to do for the first time, a bullish pivot point, a higher high, higher low, which is the best, the most important bullish reversal structure ever. This is what Tesla needs to do in order to trigger a meaningful, good bullish reversal structure in the long term. In this scenario, I see Tesla easily filling the gap around 260. Easily, easily. I, I mean, this is going to be our first most humble target because honestly, I believe we're going to seek much higher levels if this scenario actually materializes. Right now, let's pay attention on these troublesome signs the market is giving us. Uh, before assuming anything, let's pay attention on how the S&P, on how the Nasdaq are going to react under their resistances because this is what this is what is going to tell us if Tesla is going to fly or if it is going to melt 
again. I'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this channel, therefore, are, are you still not my subscriber? Come on, I mean, you watched this entire video and you're still not my subscriber? Come on, that's just ridiculous, you like it, the content, subscribe, click on the like button, by the way, to support me, thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends, see you guys tomorrow, bye-bye.